Okay, for chapter 15, we're going to work on a couple problems. The first one is 15-1B, and it talks about debt investment transactions and available for sale valuations. Recchia Mart Inc. is a general merchandise retail company that began operations on January 1, 2014. The following transactions relate to debt investments acquired by Recchia Mart Inc., which has a fiscal year ending December 31st. And it lists our transactions. And our instructions journalize the entries. Okay, well that sounds easy. We're going to start with our date. Which is April 1st, 2014. On April 1st, we purchased $90,000 of Smoke Bay 6% 10-year bonds at their face amount plus an accrued interest of $900. The bonds pay interest semi-annually on February 1st and August 1st. Okay, so we're going to start with the word investment. And we're going to put the company name, which was Smoke Bay Bonds. And we're going to debit that for the 90000 We're also going to debit interest receivable. For the 900 And then we're going to credit cash because we purchased them, so we paid cash. 90900 The next one, we purchased $42,000 of Geothermal Company, 4%, 12-year bonds at their face amount, plus accrued interest of $70. Okay. So similar to the previous transactions, our date is now May 16th, investment, and our company name is Geotherma. The investment was $42,000. And then we're going to debit interest receivable for $70 in credit cash for the total. The next one, August 1st, we received semi-annual interest on the Smoke Bay bonds. Okay, so our date is August 1st. Now, it doesn't tell us what an amount, so we have to calculate that. If we look back in our book, our Smoke Bay bonds were 90000 at 6%, and the interest is paid semi-annually. So we're going to take 90000 times 6% times 1 half, or 0.5. And this is going to give us $2,700. Okay, so we're going to debit cash for $2,700. If you remember correctly, on April 1st, we had record interest receivable of $900. Well, we have received that. So we're going to credit interest receivable for $900. And then we're going to credit interest revenue for the difference. which is $1,800. OK. 
Okay. On September 1st, we sold $12,000 of Smoke Bay bonds at 101 plus a crude interest of 60. Okay, we have to calculate how much we earned on this one, so we're going to grab our scrap paper again. We sold $12,000, so we're going to start with 12,000 times 1.01 1 .01, because we sold them at 101. And then we're going to add to that the $60. And we're going to get 12,180. So in our journal, our date is September 1st. We sold them and we received cash of 12,180. We're going to credit interest revenue for the 60. We're going to credit investments, and you may have to write small. Smoke Bay bombs, bonds, for the 12000 Now obviously our debits do not equal our credits. We had a gain. We received more cash than they were worth. We also know it's a gain because it was at 101. So we're going to credit gain on sale of investment. for the difference, which is 120. Okay, November 1st, received semi-annual interest on the Geotherma company bonds. Okay, so now we're looking up here at these. They were 42,000, 4% 12-year bonds, interest paid semi-annually. Okay, so we grab our scrap paper again. And we're going to take the 42,000 times the 4% times the 1 half because they're paid semi annually and we get $840. So we're going to start with our date, which was November 1st. Cash is debited for 840. Remember up here on May 16th we had interest receivable of 70. We're now going to credit interest receivable for 70. And then we're going to credit interest revenue for the difference. Okay, December 31st, we accrued $1,950 interest on Smoke Bay bonds. So it's the end of the fiscal year. It is December 31st. We have to keep track of this interest that we've gained through the year but haven't been paid yet. So we're going to debit interest receivable for 1950 and credit interest revenue. for the 1950 December 31st we accrued $280 interest on the geothermal bonds so very similar it's still the 31st debit interest receivable
for 280. Credit interest revenue. for 280. Okay, that finishes off 2014. So now we're gonna come down here to 2015. On February 1st, we received semi-annual interest on the Smoke Bay bonds. So we're going to come over here to our date is going to be February 1st, but remember it's 2015, so we have to write that at the top. And again, we have to calculate this one. So we're going to go with our 78,000. Now the 78,000 came from our 90,000 that we started with minus the 12,000 that we have earned and that gives us our 78,000. So we're going to take 78,000 times 6% times 1 half and that's going to give us 2,340. So in our journal we're going to debit cash for 2340 Now remember in December we had an interest receivable of 1950 so we're going to credit interest receivable of 1950 and we're going to credit interest revenue for the difference, which is 390. Okay, our last journal entry received semi-annual interest on the geothermal company bonds. So we have to grab our scrap paper and we have our $42,000 in bonds times 4% times 1 half and we get 840. So our date is May 1st, cash is our debit for 840. Now remember in December we had 280 of accrued interest, so interest receivable is our first credit of 280 and then interest revenue for the difference. We'll take 840 minus 280 and we get 560. Okay, at this point, go ahead and turn off your video and head back to your PowerPoint.